As today's high-performance cars have gotten even more powerful and even faster, well, a lot of automakers are realizing that they might be too extreme for some people who just want a daily driver. And that's why some car companies are rolling out middle ground performance models for people who only want a modest increase in power. For Mercedes-AMG, those cars have the 43 suffix. This is the C43, and it fits in between the C300 you might lease for the, your commute to work and the C63 you might take to a racetrack. So let's go for a drive and see how the C43 fits in. How does it look? Like the standard C-Class, this is a very pretty sedan with lovely curves and lines breaking up its body sides. Being the C43, we've got a specific AMG body kit with new wheels, a new front fascia, side skirts, and a little trunk spoiler. While it's definitely really stylish, I guess I'd like a little more visual drama on the outside. I want to be sure people know I'm driving something that's a clear step up from a C300. How's the storage? The trunk is a nice size at 12.6 cubic feet, although that's a little bit less space than you might have in an Audi S4 or BMW 340i. Still, you can easily fold down the back seats with these handles, and once you do, as you'll see in a second, you can fit plenty of suitcases and luggage back there. You can store stuff in the center console, and while there are cup holders up front, there isn't really a lot more space to store your phone or wallet while driving. You can store more beverages in the door pockets. Is it roomy? The front seats are more than fine, with lots of adjustment in every direction. The back seats, like most cars in this class, are totally fine for adults, but not the most generous spaces you'll find in any sedan. How does the interior feel? Mercedes makes some lovely car interiors, and the C43 is a great example of that. Now, this being an AMG model, there's a lot of lovely sporty touches, things like the nicely bolstered sports seats, the carbon fiber trim, the aluminum and stitched leather, as well as just the fact that even the basic controls feel and look really, really premium. Is it well equipped? The C43 comes with all the standard goodies you'd expect from a modern luxury car, including heated seats, a sunroof, Bluetooth and satellite radio, push-button start, and so on. This car has been optioned up with even more stuff like LED headlights, these awesome AMG sports seats, a Napa-trimmed steering wheel, and a suite of active safety tech. How's the infotainment system? Mercedes Command infotainment system is a joy to look at and use with both a rotary dial and a touchpad for operating it. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support will cost you $350 extra, which is a little frustrating given how many cheaper cars offer it as standard. Being an AMG model, you can also see displays about the engine's performance, and iPhone owners can record their track day exploits with the Track Pace app. Is it a good daily driver? It's really impressive how nice this car still feels as a daily driver, even though it's got all the AMG bits on it. I'm driving it around in its default comfort mode and the ride quality is pretty good. It's pretty easy to drive with somewhat light steering and so on. And the nine speed automatic transmission shifts totally smoothly as well. For the most part, I think most people wouldn't notice that this was a performance car because it really, really can be so nice and pleasant in its normal mode. As in every C-Class, it's pretty quiet. I've got great visibility in every direction. Yes, the ride is probably a little bit firmer than in a standard C300, but it's a lot quieter and just a little more easy to live with every single day than a C63 would be. Is it fun to drive? This car is really fun to drive at all times. Let's start off with talking about the engine. It's a three liter bi-turbo V6. You get 362 horsepower, and now yes, that's about 100 fewer than in the base C63 and 141 fewer than in the C63S. But you know what, once you get behind the wheel, you don't really care. This car will still get to 60 in 4.6 seconds. It's still got a huge, wonderful mid-range punch once the turbos spool up, and really quick, precise shifts from the nine-speed automatic, especially when you use the paddle shift. Formatic all-wheel drive is standard, and that certainly helps not only on dry conditions, but also if you're driving this car year-round, like 
in winter as we are today. Now, although it's all-wheel drive, Mercedes has tried to make sure this car still feels very rear-wheel drive-like. 69% of the power defaults to the rear wheels, and the suspension's definitely set up so it'll slide and dance around a little bit more. In a general sense, when I've driven this car on dry roads, or even now when we're driving it in winter weather, this car is just a lot of fun. It's very confident and poised. I love dialing everything up to sport mode and just really having a lot of fun. I've got fantastic firm feel through the brake pedal that's really reassuring, really sharp turn in from the steering, and just a really, really great chassis balance with the adaptive dampers dialed up to the max. How's the fuel economy? The EPA says you'll average 20 miles per gallon in the city and 27 mpg on the highway, figures that seem pretty accurate based on my driving so far. Again, that sort of splits the difference between a C300 4MATIC and the C63. How much is it? The C43 sedan starts at $53,000, and this one is loaded up to the tune of $71,000. Now, just for some context on those numbers, bear in mind that the cheapest C63 sedan you can buy starts at 66,000, so this is still a good deal for an AMG-tuned model. What are the negatives? It's hard to find much to criticize with the C43, but I guess if I had to find some negatives, I'd say I wish the exhaust were a little louder and more exciting at times, and given that the C63 is offered with rear-wheel drive, it would be nice to have a rear-wheel drive option on this one too. Who should buy it? The Mercedes-AMG C43 is perfect for the car enthusiast who wants a little more fun and speed in their daily driver, but doesn't necessarily want to step up to the cost and brutality of something like the C63. As a daily driver that's still incredibly quick and rewarding and fun on a back road, the C43 is a star, making it a great addition to the C-Class lineup. If you were paying attention, you might have noticed I was wearing a new watch. This is the Strat 3, designed by famed Formula One technical illustrator Giorgio Piola. To find out more, visit GiorgioPiola.com.